most dudes don't truly care about your past unless it's affecting this right here. Right now. Welcome to another episode of Something for the People. This is your boy B Hunt, aka the Silent Prophet, along with my co-host Big Country. What's good, people? How y'all doing? Couldn't you couldn't let the process be the process. And in, and that's the frustrating part about it is that's when that broken person goes to another person mm -hmm. and, that, creates that. and creates another broken person. What it do, this is your boy B Hunt, aka the Silent Prophet, along with my co host Big Country. What's good, people? This is another episode of Something for the People. You know, it'll be a pleasure. We have two guests. Go ahead. Dollar. New York, always. So I'm not. And I mean, I mean, y'all know me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, he ain't really a guest, but you know, since he's in front of the camera. To this, this time, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's what DJ, man. I'm, I'm out of here, man. What, what's good? What's up? Uh, question, let's shoot the breeze. Could one of the big issues going on today is we live in our truth and not the actual truth? You know, I want people walking around saying, but well, that's my truth. Instead of what actually is. Jeremy told me a, a very funny story about a lady who claimed, proclaimed her dog to be a vegetarian, right? Mm -hmm. So, she said, no, my dog will not eat meat. Da, 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 da. Put two bowls of food out in front of him, one full of leafy greens and one full of dog food. And of course, the dog travels right over there and consumes dog food. Yeah, so the truth is your dog is like every other dog. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> like, like, Why would you think your dog is going to be different from everybody else? Well, the thing is, she's Even trying to force, force her dog it's a dog, people. Come on. I He's going to eat regular dog food. You have to train him and take that time to be like, no, only this. Any dog going to go straight for the dog food over leafy. Yeah. But the issue is people are doing this now. Yeah, true. It's like people will put their opinion as the truth instead of the actual facts being the truth. Like when you say, I'm living in my truth, bro, that's your opinion. Like you said, I'm living in my truth, not the truth that's the reality. Because everybody knows it's three sides to every suit. True. You can say what you want to say. The truth is the truth, and if it's fake, it's fake. And we all know that. It don't matter race, religion, man, or woman. If it's real, it's real. If it's not, it's not. See, when it's fake, it's mean eventually it's real, real. It's real. I hate to say this, but nowadays, nobody really, like, everybody keeps trying to change everything up. Yeah. Like, I understand we all know what fact is. That means it can be proven it is factual. It's right there in the sand. Right. Like, right. That is true. But what ends up happening nowadays is people keep changing the truth and say, oh, well, it's my truth. Oh, well, this is how I feel. Like, back in the day, a hoe was a hoe. You knew where a hoe was. It wasn't no, now all of a sudden, Oh, I'm living my truth. I'm doing my thing. I'm like, okay, that's fine. You're still doing the whole stuff. Agree. Yeah, I mean, you know, with the whole truth thing, uh, I feel like, you know, some people feel like it's a construct of reality for them. You know, if facts are facts for some people, and their reality is, is a figment of sometimes their imagination, then, you know, my my facts and my reality are, are just what it is. Because, you know, people can be in stuff that we, we've seen it throughout time. Yeah. So a fact can also be something that's inside of a person's actual reality. So just because you may see it Could as... Could you give me an example? Okay. Um, so... When it comes to the law in general, some laws, well, laws that were designed to keep us out of places, for example. Okay. Were those facts? They wouldn't be facts because any place that exists, you can actually go. I can physically go into the yeah, space. But in that reality, right. it was a fact. 
that we weren't supposed to be there. Right. It was the fact you were not allowed to be there. Yeah, but, but you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I see what the, I see what the, the distinction is. It's like, okay, because there's physically not there's nothing factual that actually exists preventing you from being in said space. Because like right now, you got the lock on the door, but we all know if I really want to get to the door, I just knock the door down. Like, yeah. if I want to be in your space, I can be in your space. So where there's absence of a physical thing to truly stop me from being in a space that you don't want me in because you pay the bills here, the law is in service. So I feel like if there is a law in place, then the fact is you don't have to, like, we have to put this here because there's nothing to truly stop you. Like, there's nothing to truly stop you from going and pregnant and hundred women and then going on about your there's life. Nothing that's bulletproof, True. basically. Yeah. What you're saying. There's, no, there's no proof. Yeah. Because if you make anything bulletproof, how can you fix it? That's you know, it's like a what do you go back to? ATM machine. You got to be certified to work on those. So you got a random person like us trying to break into an ATM machine and can't get to it. But somebody who knows how to work on them, it's easy. Yeah. You know exactly how to get into it, get what you need to get, move around. Yeah. So nothing is bulletproof. You mm -hmm. always got to have, it's just like the road on the ground. It's right. solid. It can handle 18 wheelers and everything. But eventually, over after wear and tear, what we got to do? We build. Mm -hmm. But if you ever notice how things go now, is like, instead of us dealing with the actual, this is what it is, we'll try to, tear it apart, deconstruct, and bend it to our own will instead of just dealing with it as is. Like, if I say, hey, I'm a black man. Well, no, technically, you're not a black man. You're this, 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 and this. At the end of the day, because if we're going by history, mm -hmm. one drop of black blood makes black. So That's true. But I'm I, a black man. I, I want to ask you this, though. Is it us that's doing it? Or is it it, it, I, some I, people can handle the truth and other people can't. I'm just saying, like, you know, is, it, is it us as a, is it our culture that's doing it or is it others? I'm going to be real. It's our culture and others. Like, okay, like, for example, growing up, you knew basically what a man was. Uh -huh. Growing up, you knew what the ideas of a man stood for. Now, those roles all those things have changed. Like, you really can't say what a man is. Just like we used to could be able to say what a woman was. You can say what a man is. No, no, no. You can't no, really no, no, say no, what a no, woman no. is. Because things change over time. And the, it's crazy. It's the real way crazy. that it's changed now, like, I can't base a, I can't tell you a fact without somebody being butt hurt about that fact. Well, I, I, I'm going to say this. Um, I think it is more so in our faces more than it used to be. Yeah. And that's why it seems like you can't tell people certain things because they're going to cancel you if you say yeah, certain that stuff. That's true. Um, that's, that's. But just from a personal experience, it, I, I, I'm going to say this without saying too much. It ain't all. It ain't, it's not us. All. It's not us that's, that's doing it. It's, it's the others that right. are making it difficult Thanks. for us to be able to... And I, I'm telling you from a personal experience. Right. Because, for example, uh, I know on the last show, y'all was talking about pronouns. Yeah. And one thing I do know for certain, if you don't know their name or you don't know their pronoun, just call them their name. Yeah. Yeah. I know for certain. I know for a fact that's what they want you to do. If you don't know their name or you don't know what pronoun they want, they go by, just... just Probably yeah, that. and that's what I do. And you know, like your name. The on, and I've only seen one example when that's been hurt. Uh, when people feeling been hurt by that, and it ain't been us. And I've talked to somebody that is in that community, and they are of, they're one of us. They're black, and they look at it just like we look at. It. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Well, I, I think mean, it's more of a feelings thing. Everybody's so emotional nowadays. Just, like, I'm, you can't talk to certain people without considering their feelings. True. And if you don't consider their feelings, they get pissed. And this is men, women. I'm like, women is one thing. I get it. Children, I get it. You got to be a little easy when you come to kids because their minds are still developing. But for you to have a conversation with another grown man and off the rip, his feelings is hurt. 
with your feelings hurt on a regular conversation, like I can see if he was arguing, we having a regular conversation as two men, and your feelings is hurt because I wasn't easy with the way I said and did certain things. Like, you, you ever notice that, like, growing up, you never heard from other dudes that's so inappropriate. But now, you hear that quite often now. I was like, with you. I, and I, 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 I never didn't... heard that growing up. It was like, oh, that's uh, dude talking to another dude. Oh, that's inappropriate. Right. But yeah. honestly, do you hear that? I, I mean, I guess I'm trying not. I'm trying to be PC. Yeah, but I do am you, too. Do you hear that amongst us though? Like being truthfully honest, do you hear that? Like, like because I think it's because we grew up with a thicker skin. Yeah. Like stuff that seems like we can't say, we just go ahead and say it. Yeah, it's just like when we're in certain environments, we know that it's like okay. They are gonna be a little softer about this, so I know I can't do this. Yeah. So I know I can't say it. You know what I'm saying? But with us, we already know. Like I know if I got something I need to say to you, you or you, I know y'all gonna know how to take it because you know I'm not coming in with no malice and no ill intent. Right. I'm yeah. just talking to you, man to man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but in certain situations, in certain environments, we know that we can't talk a certain way or come at a person a certain way, or it's gonna be deemed aggressive. It's going to be deemed inappropriate. It's going to be deemed all the things that society has deemed the way that you can't talk to nobody. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. I get what you're saying. I think the whole message is, is that everybody is being lumped in as a whole when there are certain groups that are pushing so, it out there. You know what I'm saying? It's certain yeah. It's certain groups that are making it to where it's oversensitive. Right. And other people are sitting back and looking like, well, it ain't really us. You know what I'm saying? But they're not saying that because they don't want to get canceled. And that's I, 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 why I'm just being, I'm, I'm being yeah. truthfully honest. Yeah. They don't want to get to the point where it's like, hey, look, I don't, I'm not going to touch it. I don't want to see it. But at the same time, I'm just going to keep my hands off it because I don't want to be the person to be like, hey. And You know what I'm saying? And that's true because like one of the dudes that was recently on the show, Fat Pimp, he was talking about Yes, there's certain things I would say, but because of what I'm trying to do, I'm very cautious about saying things. But then it's like, but the truth is like rain. It shouldn't care who we fall on. But now it's like, oh, no, no, the rain can't fall on me. Yeah, because just like, like, I'm sorry. Just like, just before the show started, like, this right here, these four things we got in front of us, these things are powerful. And if we use them in a certain way, it can build something up or it can tear it down. So that's why we, we people be so selective on what they speak on and what they don't touch. Right. Because people turn into crazy cult following type people sometimes when they come to certain stuff. Right. Yeah. So yeah. if I say a certain thing and people take it as gospel, you don't never know what could happen. Yeah. Yeah. You perfect. Know? The perfect example. <laughs> Beyonce. How many people could really say something about Beyonce? And not have no issue. Like, you better ask Carrie Hilson. Carrie Hilson got <laughs> man. Carrie Hilson wrote some of Beyonce's Shout songs. Out to Hilson. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> they they came out of her neck. Yeah. I mean, like you you gotta. Yeah, that's because my uh, wife Beyonce got that Queen B title, so that's why you gotta watch how you come <laughs> Just, at her because yeah. she got too many people on her corner. That's like, oh oh oh, oh. not her. I'm gonna tell you. You can say what you want to say about these people, but I'm this one here. I'll keep it to yourself. And I'm going to tell you what it is. Y'all may agree or disagree, but it's say okay with me. You know how to propagate. Yeah. It's comfort. People are too comfortable. Mm. The only reason that Beyonce can become some nigga, like, per, not, I, and I'm not taking away anything from her talents. Yeah. Nothing like that. I don't get a count. Right. Because, <laughs> like I said, you don't need a phone call. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I respect the fact that she is who she is and her skill set because she worked on it and improved she is who she is. I'm not going to take nothing away from Beyonce. I insert Beyonce, but it could be anybody. It could be anybody that you feel has reached a level of prominence, right? Their ability for people to latch on to them is because they're too comfortable. They don't have their own problems. The reason he's able to say, oh, no, that, that ain't us, is because I still got motherfucking problems. I still got problems, man. I can't worry about you. And I, look, 
I, my problem's so deep, fam, I can't worry about the pronouns. Look, tell me your name so I can use it, and that way I don't need you being another problem that I got. I don't have time to go and be a cult-like thousand for nobody because I'm so focused on what I got to do. I got problems, fam. My money ain't right. I'm trying to get my kid to do this. I'm trying to get my wife to do this. I'm trying. I got a lot going on. True. Idle minds. Remember, all this really popped off when COVID. You had a lot of people sitting at home getting checks with idle minds. Yeah. So ooh, they got a lot of time to come up with something to make everybody like, oh, you know what? Yeah, people sitting at home making more than people going to work. And I know this for a fact. Hey, man, you ain't got I'm not going to say what I was working at during that time. <laughs> but for the people who was working with me, no. We had ladies quitting. 20, 20 women at a week quitting and getting more money sitting at home than working. Sure. And one lady, one chick, up, I'm not going to say her name. She was bringing home 17 every two weeks, working full time with benefits. She sat at home and was bringing in 4700 a month. Yeah. Sitting at home chilling. Get up, take her kids to school, come back, go to sleep. She go work out if she wants to, sleep in, relax. 4700 a month for damn near a year and a half. Yep. Sitting at home chilling. Sitting at she home. wasn't even bringing that home full time with benefits at the job. And she wasn't like she was there a short period of time. She was there for two years before she quit. Right. I'm like, how so, you getting that much sitting at home chilling? And then you got people out here who benefits even went up. I got another friend. She has five kids. I'm not going to say her name. Her benefits game went from here, like, okay, to mm. right. COVID happened. Like, everything doubled. And I was like, God, dog. No. We sitting back and we trying. What I'm telling you is, when they gave everybody the opportunity to, to build what they going to build, yeah. some people built some foolishness. It, it's sad to say, but it's the honesty. You ain't working on, hey, I'm a doctor or a physician. I want to build this hospital. And I got all y'all in here working to help the world, right? Keep keep us healthy. We all doing that. That's why you come to work. You might not like it because you feel like you're taking your time from your craft to come do this for me. But at the end of the day, my vision was to help others. Mm -hmm. You got Step people you sitting there. You get to where you want to be. You got people sitting at home drawing checks and now... I'm getting a check. I, I can I can start working on some of my things. Well, I don't like the fact that they call me he or she. I want them to call me, as Andrew Tate said, King and Lord. Right? So, and now I gotta force that on you. And I got enough time now. I can go and I can I can get my followers, because you ain't really got no problems, man. You getting a check sitting on your house. What you mean? You ain't got no problems. Follow me. And tell them you want to be this, that, and the third. We don't, I don't want to be the binary. I don't want to be the this. I don't want to be the that. I don't. We got time. And for them and they social warriors, I believe, yeah, if that's something you really stand behind and you want to go push that, go do your thing. But like I said, don't penalize me because I got problems, man. I live in a binary world because it's easier. Yeah, much I mean, easier. It's much easier, fam. I, my dog is not a cat. My you don't have to refer to me as king or lord. Brian will do just fine. If you say he, that's cool with me. I think it's more so now, like kind of like uh, I guess last week said, everybody just trying to belong. Mm -hmm. in. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's easier said than done, mm -hmm. but everybody want their way. Everybody want their way. Like it, when it all boils down to it, facts may be facts, but everybody wants their way. Because mm -hmm. when, when you get down to it, if we trying to hold on to a certain way of life, it's because we deem it as a fact. And it's the way that we learn how life is supposed to be. Right. It's our way. They want their way. Everybody wants to belong to a certain thing, and we want it to be but a certain way. this ain't Burger King. You can't have it your way. I mean, but it, in it, a it, comfortable it, society, you can. If you got somebody trying to impede on your way of life, you hold it more sacred. Now, my thing is, when you say impede, my thing is, if you're trying to force someone into something, that's wrong. But, wait a but if you're forcing me to see things your way, you're doing the same thing that you're accusing me of. But when have we ever lived in a society where people haven't forced us into a certain way of life, though? But it's the way you, like, forcing you through physical force <laughs> is one thing. Like, 
we go over there, the Germans doing this during the Holocaust to the and we correct yeah, he don't do this. And and, and y'all can correct me if I'm too shy. Throughout history, other people's ways of life have been forced on other people. Yeah. No matter what it is, no across spectrums, across all parts of life, we speak English because somebody forced us to. I agree. To the victor goes the spoil. I mean, I get that of, of, of all kinds, but I'm just what I'm saying is, is people's ways uh-huh. are people's ways, regardless if you want it your way or not. You can't have it your way, but if you force it, it's going to be forced no matter how you look at it. People are always going to want their way. It's human. It, it, it's human nature. The pro, like I said, if we all equal and we all want our way, and there's no victor, then we all get our way. But we can't all have our way because you might not agree with the way I move. Right. I, and I, I understand. So that. that's why I'm like, it, I'm not. I'm not trying to provoke people to go to war. That's not. How, what I am saying is. When you took masculinity out, you forced this in. When there was a dominant individual for every for everything, we knew who the best basketball player was and is. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this, I'm giving it to the RIP Kobe, but Kobe, Jordan, LeBron. Nobody got no real issues when it comes to the NBA. Nobody, nobody's concerned, nobody trying to figure out. No, nah, everybody's players, they not trying to say, oh. You need a shoe deal. You need no, no, no. Do you score like him? Do you play like him? Because if you don't, then he gets the shoe deal. Why? Because he's a more dominant force on the field. In life, they took dominance out and they made it all everybody. We all equal as far as you are gonna get the same thing. If, like we're a capitalist society, but we're moving like communists, man. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I, and I feel like. For the bigger picture, and I, we can keep going on and on and on. Yeah. But for the bigger picture, I mean, I feel like honestly, what they're doing now is they're trying to take our eyes off the bigger picture. Like yeah. all, of, all of, like all Emotions, of this is honestly like a distraction off the bigger picture. Because yes. if you really just start paying attention to stuff, they're taking certain rights away from us. Right. They, yes. They're putting certain yes. laws into different stuff. Yes. They're taking diversity, inclusion, and all of this. They here in this thing. Mm-hmm. They're taking that type of verbiage out of hiring processes. Right. Mm-hmm. So while we arguing about the little simple thing, behind the scenes, they work in the pen. Yeah. So just be mindful got of, of what we arguing about. We forgot the battle. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We forgot the battle because you got all these little small this verbal disputes going on, but the battlefield is still the battlefield. Uh who was the, the guy? I forgot his name, but I got his book. Uh, I know, I know the name. Either way, he go through the whole process. And he's talking about, you know, black people move with sweat equity. The only issue with sweat equity is the value of sweat equity always diminishes. Nobody wants sweat no more. Yeah. You got computer and desk jobs. Nobody wants you out here sweating, man. No, we don't. Sweat equity is always diminishing while everybody else is. We didn't know about with the game. We didn't. Falling by, and like I said, we get distracted by that carrot. That the, yeah. um, you want to be called they? Well, why is it two people over there or one? That's bull, fam. Stop focusing on that. Stop yeah. worrying about that. Uh, Sherry Shepard asked married men to help single mothers raise their children. Well, she asked married women to allow their married husband to go and assist single women. Raising their children. Uh, so you mean to tell me his wife should allow him <laughs> to go down the block and yeah. help raise some other kids? Yeah, because there's certain things that she like, especially when it comes to their son. Certain things that I don't know, I don't do, and I just want she you looking for problems. And she See, know it. I, I was just saying and like this. It. <laughs> when it comes to men, and you know as well as I do, like especially like real men, you know, growing up, those certain things your daddy did or certain things that you went through that you know these kids ain't ready for. But you know, as a man, you need to be ready for that because I going to show you that. Okay. So the thing I'm saying is if I go down here, 
I'm not coming out here, baby, your kid, like you, baby, your kid. Like, I don't mind helping because I do believe as a man, you should give it forward a little bit if you can. But what I'm not going to do is you tell me what I can and cannot do with your child and you want me to help you with your child. Yeah. That's like the whole stepfather thing. Bro, I, uh, like, if I like you and you got a kid, let's just say I wasn't married. If I like you, you got a kid. Hey, if I can't discipline your kid, if I can't raise your kid as my own, that ain't my kid. I'm not about to be over here like, oh, I got to step on pins and needles because of how his mama think. No. Yeah. That's, that's going to be the biggest problem. That becomes an issue. But see, like, okay, so, you know, in certain cases, now, nah, you know, I'll probably am the only person that's out here that's married that don't have no kids that's on this channel. But I... In, in my past experiences, people have a hard time letting you discipline their children. Mm -hmm. people, they, don't, they don't really let, they don't like you telling them what to do with their kids. Right. So, like, for example, like, I know you know that I'm not going to tell Paige nothing wrong. Right. So, I'm going to say something to her if she do something. And if she didn't, I'd be like, well, why did you tell her? You know what I'm saying? So, I, we got that kind of rapport. Right. Certain people that's in my life, I know I ain't going to say nothing to their kids because I know they not going to receive it yet. So when I see their kid do something, I just be looking for them like, okay, you go ahead and say something to them because I ain't got the time or the, or the, or the issue. I, I ain't got time to deal with you for me saying something to your child. Right. Yeah. You know, so that's you run into... Exactly. Use your parents, sir. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you run into that issue. But... When I was growing up, you know, my daddy would discipline, you know, my homeboys or whatever, or talk to them about stuff because they was at my house. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, the whole going down the block and going to their house mm -hmm. and all that, I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if we, if we, you at my house and we in the yard or something, or uh, we hanging out and my daddy giving you some advice or whatever, or trying to teach you some stuff, that's different. But right. if I'm actively leaving my house to go down the street and in somebody else's house trying to raise their child, I don't know about that. That that caused to me that seems like that's overstepping a boundary that you kind of don't want to open the door for. Yeah. I, I feel like what she's saying, it 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 got some validity to it. It got some type of gravity to it. Mm -hmm. The problem with it is she ain't set it up properly. Back in the day, well, back before, you know, schooling and all that, you had apprenticeships, right? Yeah. Because typically the trades you're going into, especially if you're going into plumbing or, or electrician or all that, you go to a, a trade school you, you, and, you, yeah. and you're around men. So, like, if she were to say, not speaking to a, a black woman to try to, hey, hey, I need you to give up your husband. No, no, no. Encourage black men in these communities to do one thing. Hey, if you know how to hang some sheetrock, if you know how to, you know, plow, if you know how to, if you know something that's beneficial to these kids that I don't necessarily do, because I might teach you how to cook a T-bone steak, son, but I can't tell you how to lay a foundation for the house. I can't tell you that. So, let me put you in a position, hey, it's some men down there, hey, it's a, it's a program going on, and they're going to be building this house, you know, even if it's just with, uh, with your local Habitat for Humanity, hey, they're going to be showing you some skill sets that you can utilize as a man. So when I need somebody to go and mount the TV on the wall, I can reach out to you instead of trying to pull this man from his house and have his wife worry about if I'm trying to take him too. So. I was. I, uh, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, like for yeah, real though. Yeah. That's gonna be an issue. That's the story. I promise you, that's, gonna, yeah. that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. But I'm looking at it like this: the idea is, I don't think women are ready to let their. Well, I'm not gonna say all. I don't think that some single women are ready for their boys to understand what it is to be a man, because like they're. Most of the time, they've been coddled, they've been soft, and they never want to see their child go through certain things. Like, for example, uh, who was that back in the day? Um, it was like about five, six years ago. Uh, Beast Mode, he had camp. And he was like, hey, you're going to get on the field. You're going to do, if I ask you to run this route, run this route. 
do what you need to do, Marshawn Lynch. Mm -hmm. So oh. then the issue was mothers were like, oh, well, why'd you keep my son off the field? Because I told your son what to do, and your son wasn't ready to do it. So I told him to get the F off my field. Yeah. Yeah, oh, my God, but why is it? Is, 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 is there a man around? Is, is, is your man here? Because as a man, you will understand. Yeah, you going to do this. This ain't no, oh, maybe. Yeah, I mean, nowadays, I feel like... That they tough don't, love is hard for a lot of people to take, yeah. especially when you didn't grow up around that. And then you see that, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But when you grow up around it, it's like, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. It's vital. I don't, like, the statement, it is what it is, is like, for things, it's like, we, we, it's something we accept. This is something that's absolutely necessary for a man to move through life. I'm not saying belts and switches, because I know a lot of people get a lot of little touch when you start saying, <laughs> I'm going to beat your child. I'm not with that. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. I, I do give out whoopings, but I don't beat no kids. Right. What I am saying is this, though. <laughs> I don't beat no kids, no. Yeah. No, I don't beat no kids, but uh, I don't whoop No, you're going to get this whooping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And then put the hands back down. Yeah. yeah. But, you know. So, what I'm saying is, it has to be done. At a certain point, life is not comfortable. It is not a feminine thing. Like, oh, it's no. not a... What they say? Check is on check? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Life ain't... Life don't... Don't care to coddle you. Life don't care to try to make it even or right. That's no. the biggest lesson learning right there. Mm -hmm. And that's what men teach because we dealt with that from the beginning. I got... Yeah. Yeah. As a man, I said it before, the value you were born with is not necessarily there. No one right. cares. Right. Like, right. you being a man and carrying a name, carrying a name is one thing. That's right. just a responsibility. Right. If you don't grow the name, right. then you've done nothing. Your right. value, you've you, you, you proven yourself valueless. Right. Women, on the other hand, I bring children into the world. Men are supposed to, you know what I'm saying? We, we give them this, this title and this status just based on the fact that you're beautiful and you're able to attract men who hopefully have legacy already. Right, right, right. So, a man has to come through and tell you, hey, I know you think, I, I know you think the name Hunter really means something, but it meant something when your dad was holding it. Right. You got to feel when he go plus keep it going. When he gone, what they going to say about the Hunters? Right. When he gone, what they gonna say about his? Are you still trying to live off with your daddy told you? Oh, it's okay. a lot, like it, it's a lot that goes yeah. into that, especially like you know when people try to build legacies, <laughs> right, when yeah. people try to you know add yeah. stuff into those types of things. Because you know when, say for instance, like me, I'm a junior, and so I tried to live out of the shadow of my dad at right. all times, and I tried to build my own legacy right. based off of. Be trying to separate myself from having the same exact name. Mm -hmm. I get that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But to add to your point, I think nowadays parents don't want their kids to go to nothing. Right. Certain, pa certain parents don't want their kids to, to understand what, like, even when it comes down to certain, learn how to lose. Mm -hmm. Kids, mm -hmm. they don't want their kids to know how to take no L's. That's they why they give out participation trophies. I'm gonna tell you, like, mm -hmm. it's like I, I, I remember the first time I got a, I, like, that hurt people, worse. people think that participation trophies are new. They started giving them out when we was like in sixth, seventh grade. Oh. I remember the first time I got one. I remember the first, and my uncle did not allow us to take it. You can't take it. <laughs> like that's a slap. <laughs> Like, yeah, uh, for me, yeah, that's a I was face. But I was cool with it. So I, I've never been accustomed. Like, I'm a, I might be real chill, but I, I'm a competitor. So I don't like losing and I don't like losing yeah. and nothing. And so I think that's what, like, made us a little bit more resilient. Now, there's some stuff about us that's a little different from <clears> the <throat> generations that came after us and before us. Mm -hmm. You know, what? Parents nowadays, they don't, they don't like their kids to go through that. They want to kind of like shelter them in this bubble away from everything. But it sets them up in the future for a world of hurt. Because once they're outside of that bubble <coughs> and life hits them and punches them in the face, mm -hmm. like Mike Tyson say, when they punch you in the face, the window. everything is out mm -hmm. the window and they come back to you and then it's like, hey, why you didn't tell me this? 
Why you didn't do this? Why? And it's like, you didn't prepare them. But yeah. that's just the thing is, we do too much babying, and that's why it would be hard for men to, real men to get out here. Mm-hmm. And I understand everybody going to say, well, what's a real man and all that kind of stuff? Mm-hmm. The yeah, idea is, is as a man, you handle responsibilities. You do what you need to. You take care of your family. You your uh, own. Men work. I'm sorry. I, I don't believe a man don't work. I mean, in some way, some shape, some form, you working. You hustling, trying to get what you need to take care of your family. If you have a family, good. If you don't, you're thinking about ways of building yourself up. Yeah. In the movie Troy with Brad Pitt. When he was going over there to fight the uh, big dude, and he mm-hmm. saw this little boy on his way. <laughs> and the little boy's like, he's so big, you gonna go fight him? And he was like, yeah. He was like, you know, basically talking about mm-hmm. he, was, he was scared. And then, right then, <laughs> he said right. the <laughs> most pivotal thing to that child, and I hope that people understand that that's the world men live in. Like, when you're talking to a boy, you raising him to be a man, you, he said, and that's why no one will remember your name. Hmm. The people who often get remembered are the people who go through. Like, I'm, it's a hard time. I, I'm still going to push through. Faith favors the fearless. So you can be scared, but if that stops you, then you might as well go sit back down and never attempt anything else. Yeah. Because no one's going to remember you. No one's going to care about what you did or what you what you stood for. Hell, you're not going to get the job done. Right. That's like if you cut off in the middle of the job, the job still needs to get done, but you had not got the job done. What you, what I'll be trying to explain to people, especially when it, because Black History Month just passed. Facts. Whether Martin Luther King got shot or not, they will remember his name because the legacy he left behind. I stand for this, and no matter what you bring at me, no matter the floods of people who are against me, I am the mountain that don't move. You're going to have to part around me and understand that wherever y'all meet up next is on y'all, but here I stand. Facts. People, and, and like I said, people don't want kids to ever have that here I stand moment because you're sheltering them from everything that comes at them. So whenever somebody trying to stand up for themselves or be assertive or focus in, oh, you're being, a, you're being toxic masculine. Or like in the beast mode situation, hey, why are you talking to my son like that? No, 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 let your son take that lick. I'm going to go sit down on the bench. Why? Because he asked me to do something and I wasn't ready, mama. When he's talking, he's trying to, the man that's sitting right before you has been where you're trying to go. He ain't trying to give you a path that don't work. He's telling you exactly what you need yeah. to be what he is. Mm-hmm. You as somebody who's never seen the other side, need to back up. And as long as he ain't physically putting his hands on your child, he's explaining to you, you want to be great. If you want them to remember your name, it's going to be some beast out there you got to fight that she ain't never seen. Mm-hmm. Yep. You can't tell a woman in the village what a bell look like. Nah. Well, anybody that done ever been out there on a basketball court, on a football field, octagon, whatever, most of the time, that is going to be a dog on the other side. Just mm-hmm. as no matter no matter Just what. Any, anybody can tell you, it's always going to be a dog right. on that other side. Right. And they yeah. can care less what you feel. Mm-hmm. I, always, I was telling this one lady, she was like, should I put my son in sports? I was like, yeah, you should. Do you want to play? He was like, she was like, sometimes. And I was like, no, nah, let me take that back then. Because I was like, if you was in another place, if you was in another place where football wasn't what it was, cool. But the fact that you in Texas, I'm telling you, it's a boy over there who's looking at this, and, 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 it's, and it's prevalent in the black community. It's a boy over there who's looking at this like, this is how I'm going to eat. Hey, so your son, nice. your son run that ball, your son can <laughs> die, and it's just, be, and it's not because the kid on the other side got a real malice towards him. It's just, I have this desire to be great, and I want them to remember my name. Yeah. It's just, it's just certain stuff that's in, if you were really about this life when it comes to certain sports, 
you know it in a kid immediately. Yeah. Because it's something that they just eat, sleep, and breathe. Yeah. And if your child ain't ready for it, he's gonna get hurt. He gonna he gonna get his feelings hurt first. First. First his feelings gonna get hurt. Come home. Because he gonna take some L. Yeah. He gonna take some L's mentally first. Mm -hmm. Because it's gonna be like, because you know when you was a kid and how we played, your first learn when you took your first L's on a, on a court or on a field, you got clamped. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So when you went back to school on Monday, you got clamped. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, you said yeah. that. What happened? You you got clamped. But see now, it's bullying. You, yeah, <laughs> it's bullying. You change it to bullying. You, you know what I'm saying? You got clown when you lost, especially yeah. when you was playing against. Like, say for instance, you on a, on one team, mm -hmm. and all your homeboys, all the people in your class, may be on another team, or vice versa, whatever. Yeah. If you lost to that other team when you came to school on Monday, they roasted you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trash. 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 You trash. trash. Yeah, you said you was it. You, I, mean, I mean, you, you, ain't score, you only scored four points. All oh, what happened? We right. we beat you. Yeah, right. That was motivation for that was motivation for us because the next time I saw you, I'm going in. Oh, I'm matter of fact, at recess, man, I'm just one on one, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. At this yeah. point, now I got a fruit. Now, <laughs> I'm like, I, 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 you gonna rip me? I hate, I hate to say it like this, and now I'm gonna leave it alone. But I'm gonna just say it. It was a comedian that was talking about. He was like, man, you know how soft kids are nowadays compared to the way we used to grow up, like. Remember, we had actual turf. We actually had concrete. We played on concrete. You scrape up your knee, you get up, keep moving. No, I played baseball on concrete yeah. in L.A. Mm -hmm. But at the same time... <laughs> Concrete in LA. They are more concerned about the children. Yeah. Safety. I'm like, if he fall and hurt himself, he didn't die and he hurt himself, it's fine. He get up, let him heal. I got the him. scars to prove it. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, like, it's right. a lesson in the scars, man. I got one right here. I got a leg. It, it taught we it was tough. It was tough. Yeah. Like you it, you you got beat up on mentally. And physically, physically. Yeah. <laughs> like you, it. But once you got older, it's just like all right, you remember I, playing with the bigger kids. Yeah. Oh, it, oh they're gonna roughhouse you. Yeah. Don't yeah. think you just gonna get out there and they're gonna touch. No, no, no. We gonna no. no. we play with no two hand touch. We right. playing tackles. If, yeah. Yeah. if it wasn't ready, don't step on this field. We finna hit you. Ain't no stepping out of bounds. Right. You, you finna get hit. Right. Yeah. It's not. It's not. A, I, I know we we didn't got all off time, <laughs> but this is what happened. Right. That's, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm but saying. But that's part of being a man. And you knew what it was. And that, yeah. and, and yeah. understanding that is why you got to really be sure you want somebody else to come in here and do this for you. Like I said, it's different in a group setting. The camp that Beast Mode was running, perfect. Yo, kid want to play football? You, want, you don't understand? the. I got you. I'm going to teach him. But in order for me to teach him, you might have to go home. You might have to go sit in the stands. You can't be down here with me. Why? Because you don't get it. You don't understand. Right. It's in order to play in the field that we play in, in order to live the life that we live in, it's not easy. It, you can't cushion me from every blow. Like, so it's not going to be beneficial. Because it's going to punch you. We go, it is what it is. It's going to punch you. All right. Can the plight of black communities be directly linked to the lack of family structure? And I was asking this because I was I was scrolling through the internet when I was coming up with these topics, right? And then it was this guy who came on there and he said, Hey, right now I refuse to to pay this this child support. And then at first I was like, oh, you're sent instant done. I, I, I was, I was he said he refused to pay. Yeah, he refused to pay the child support. Tell him I said this. He ain't in control of nothing. 
But he said he said he's he his best friend. <laughs> he said he's I know he's Trust more me. than willing to go and do the jail time. The thing was, what? he was saying that in his opinion, his child was suffering from gender dysphoria. Right. So the child was thinking, "Hey, I am." He, he was a boy. Thought he, he was like my son thinks he's a girl. So, you know, and he was like, I'm telling the kid, like, I got I got books and stuff to back what I'm saying, that during that teenage year and finding yourself, sometimes you have what is commonly known as gender dysphoria until you switch back and you'll be just fine. But the mother was like, the fact that you're telling him about that disease or whatever, you're abusing my son. Right? She's like, no. He's he he's a girl now, and you need to accept that, and you need to stop trying to explain to him that he got to explain away what he believes. And he was like, "I stopped paying child support right then because at that point, you're trying to use my funds to push something that I don't necessarily believe." Granted, y'all gonna get pissed at me, but you need to show them to have a conversation with Dwayne Wade and the rest of them guys that think it's okay to have their son switch over or daughter switch over. First of all. You came out a boy or a girl, and this is what the lifestyle we're going to live. I'm not going to sit here and, like, I'm on child support. So right. I know you might as well pay, because when they come for you, they come for you. Right. So you might as well just pay. But if you're willing to sit time out, because that's more where you stand, because of your son is now the opposite sex, it's like, wow, like. I'm trying to get custody. I'm just saying. But I'm like, is, something I'm, is wrong. I mean, what happened? Sit down with that child and find out what happened. Can't to sit make down him go. with the kid because the mom, your father's abusive. He doesn't. He doesn't. Oh, so the mother is pushing this. Yes, wow. and that's what's going. That's, I feel sorry for the, him. I wish him nothing but the best because that's crazy. That's why I feel like the structure of black home. Now, granted, I'm not trying to sit here and tell you that a lifestyle choice is is the breakdown of. But if we go systematically. Talk about the the three strike rule, the eighties with the whole drugs and all that. Mm. A lot of the black fathers got Still pulled out. With, yeah, things got tough around that time. Eighties crack, seventy was heroin. Mm. Yeah, so it's been a, it's been a few yeah. decades. Every here. decade, mm-hmm. it was just a nice wave. Started yeah. out strong. Well, we got good times. Sixties, yeah. you know, a strong, solid black yeah. man, family matters, yeah. stuff like that. Fresh Prince of Ballet, things like that. Right. Then you get into the 80s. When it hit the community, it hit the community hard. A lot of guys left and did military time, came back, was immensely there. Some of them got hooked on that stuff. A lot of stuff went down in the 80s. Then the 90s, seeing it slowly bounce back, you know, trying to redo things. Then early 2000s, it was like, hmm. But now it was like, but then oh, that's when the whole cosmopolitan woman came out and, yeah. and when you got, like I said, when you have a clear cut provider, and you know, then it's different. When you got black men and black women making roughly around the exact same amount of money, and I'm not trying to argue for pay separate or, or whatever. What I am arguing for is this: when there's not a clear cut leader. There's this organization, there's everybody trying to push their own viewpoints. So, in that world, yeah, a mother can tell you that a child who may be suffering from gender dysphoria or a child who may have got linked up with a local gang or something, like, yeah, they need to go through that. But, like, right now, if if, if K-Dot ended up saying, oh, no, Pop, I'm, I'm, I'm joining this gang right now, instantly you'd be like, no, you're not. I mean, you don't need a game because you got the Hicks name. We here. This is yeah, us. I mean, you want a Hicks game. I mean, you want somebody who's going to die for you real quick. This is like, you got daddy me. number one. Daddy number one. The shoot a bullet and take a bullet. And yeah. when you don't have, like I said, I when you don't have, have it. Go sit down. Yeah. You yeah. don't go have it. Right. Go when, sit down. So if stop K. Dot do don't down. have Jeremy to say, okay, look. You talking about some foolishness, son. Go right. do something else. There's so much other stuff to do. That's dumb. See, my thing with this is, like, everybody's trying to be everything instead of, hey, play your part. Each of, 
Like, the reason why it takes male and female is because neither one of them is going to work without the other one. That's why it's male and female. You cannot have a baby unless the man shoots up the club. There's no other way. It, even if you go get artificially inseminated, but it's man, still the same the thing. You shot the job. It's still the exact same thing. Just like you need a woman to hold the child. I'm sorry, that's what it is. It's facts. It's not based on opinion. You cannot switch it up because you say, oh, well, I'm going to be everything. Maybe you're not meant to be everything. Okay. So if you play your position and I play my position, hey, we have a great child. I could help him where he needs or where my daughter needs. You could help our son where he needs, where our daughter needs. But if you're too busy trying to be everything, you're missing some key vital things that you need. So let me let me pose this question. She you right. So we have this big separation of our community. Mm -hmm. So it started from the 70s, you no, know, from, mm -hmm. from, from that up until now. Mm -hmm. These parents that we have, most of them most likely are of that single household. Right, correct. Yeah. But they don't know their role. You know what? They that's always say, no, no. It takes a village to raise your kids. And that's, yeah. And not just but, the white house. But also, but also, what? That village that you speak of? Right. It's now non existent. But there's some always not existent. It, I got, it, oh, it, I got it, one for you. Right. Because how the same way that I learned certain things, mm -hmm. the same way. Everybody can. Mm -hmm. You get around people who have been there, done that, and triumphed through that. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you could get some old school mothers. All the old school mamas ain't dead. Uh, there's still a lot of them. My mama around, his mama around, your mama around, your mama around. All of them old school. All of them did certain things that, like, it's you just... Different. You, 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 me, him, him, we're a different caliber of people. But you know why? Because we had it. Yeah, but we're speaking on a a, a, a whole population of people yes, that right. don't have the same mentality, that didn't grow up in the same type of environment. I know you came from a rough neighborhood. I do, too. You know, we had those people that was like, you're not going this route. Right. Yeah. Thanks. We had those people. Yeah. But we also had people that we knew that their parents didn't care what they did. Yeah, they I, just I, 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 my I, I, job I, I, is to get you through high school, and that is it. So, old saying: mm -hmm. if you do not adapt, you will go extinct. Correct. So the mm -hmm. fact of the matter, yes, I'm sorry if you don't want to adapt to what needs to be done. It's like you can't keep blaming your mama or your daddy for what happened to you when you were 10 and you're in your 30s now. I feel you. I know somebody so I, I, I agree. I like, I'm, 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 not, I'm not refuting what you're saying. But uh, what I'm saying is, is that everybody doesn't have that mentality that you have. So and they will go extinct. And, and that's what's happening. And I hate that, that that's, that's happening. That's what's happening. I really do. It's, it's happening because people went so long, like, the social construct of how they decided and how they narrowed in because they saw what, what our community was doing and they didn't right. like it. Yeah. They saw exactly how we were we were building ourselves. So they, they saw off all the leaders yeah, and then yeah. start breaking They, they saw what we were doing. They saw what we were building with Malcolm. They saw what we were building with Martin. They saw what the Black Panthers were doing. They saw all of what, what we were building. Like, oh, we got we got to kill all of this. Yeah, because too much it, black leadership. It, like we it, all it know, the black Panthers power. was strong in our community. Well, strong. It, it became too much. Power. It was too much for them to handle. It was like, whoa, these people giving back. They provided homes and food and all types of stuff. It. We got to stop this. It's too much. They're not even asking us for nothing because the Panthers came and said we got it from here. And so now, look at it now. Right. You can basically be like, hey, I ain't got no man in this house. I got. It. Umpteenth amount of food stamps. I got this amount of government assistance. Mm -hmm. I got this. My, my rent is five dollars. This, that, and the, like. There's it so many. There's so many right. benefits to not having the opposite sex in the house. Yep. Yeah. There's so many benefits to not getting a personal leader. I, we all look. We go over here, guys. 
we use Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam gonna raise. It's like mm -hmm. it's like you know when little kids. I always talk about this random guy named Uncle Mike. Yeah. Like he's he he he, he not really your father. He been around a lot. So mm -hmm. it's Uncle Mike. Well, Uncle Sam. Look, that's who Uncle Sam. That's the role he took. Yeah. Oh, you ain't got no food. Instead of Uncle Mike going to buy you some McDonald's, you know what? Go ahead and go some food stamps. Gotcha. Yeah, uncle, uh, he gonna buy y'all the crab. Mm -hmm. Only thing you gotta do. Only thing you gotta do. <laughs> only thing sure. you gotta, he ain't in the house. Yeah. I don't like no other man up here talking to you, talking to my woman. That was developing a program in Atlanta where women were gonna end up getting nine hundred dollars a month to keep the the make. But the stipulation is there cannot be a male figure inside the house. Yeah, you need to listen to us. But you already see what's happening. Because that's how they're destroying. Well, that's things. the stipulation. Like it's not it, before it wasn't blatant. Now it's being blatantly put in the in the the verbiage. The verbiage. Mm. And that's what I'd be like. As long as we keep seeking these handouts and allowing other entities to break down the black household, we how how can we sit back and complain about the conditions we in? We keep. Because you you keep letting somebody else who don't really that's like letting the dude because he paid the bill he gets to abuse you he get to beat you he get to beat the kids treat them like trash and all that stuff but he paid the bill he paid the bill that's exactly what you're doing to your kids that's because all that. of us ain't on the same page yeah it goes because to, because half of us because you paying all the bills don't mean you can run out like that half of us exactly. half of us want the change and the other half of us don't. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and that's just as black as and white as I can get it. Right. Half of us is like, hey, man, we need to liberate. We want, we need to do this. We need our own. We need our own politicians. We need our own school system. We need our own this. We need our own businesses. We need our own all. We need all of this. The other ones is like, eh, I don't care enough. Yeah, I don't need all that. I don't care about who votes for what. I don't care about what laws are in place. As long as I got food, water, and shelter, and my lights is up, and all that. That's all I care about. Yeah. They don't care who in power. As long as I got what I need, I don't care. Not with yeah. in, in most of the in most cases, if even if it's their if they're a parent, as long as I got what I need, not what my kids need, but as long as I got what I need, I don't care. Yeah. And that's the sad part. Right. We got we, we as a community, because I know we've said it before. We don't have a culture anymore. It's no culture, it's no culture anymore. I like agree with you said so. earlier. Yeah. You know that village is not there like it used to be. Yeah, that village. I, not there like it used to be. Some of us grew up in a village. I can tell you grew up in a village mm -hmm. because what you think about, what you believe in, how you think, your village cultivated that in you, and so now it spills out into everything that you say and what you do. Yeah. You had a village. Right. You had a village. I had. But we all know people that didn't have a village that gravitated to the village that you had. Yeah. We all know that we had friends that was like, hey, man, I like being over here with y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like pulling up over at y'all house because, man, I get to do this, that, and the third. Or we got that friend that was like, hey, man, I ain't seen my mama all day. You ain't seen my mama all day. You ain't seen your mama all day. Yeah, my mama was here when I got out, got out of school. What you, you know mean? what I'm saying? That's or, first thing I asked. What you mean? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, you be like, hey, Going Man, out. I've heard kids talk about they ain't seen their parents all week. And I'm like, all week? Like, who feeding you? I'm like, oh no, they feed themselves. That was, but but you know, like Not for right. us, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, I could I could go in there and fix me something as a kid, but it's like my mama gonna make sure I eat, dog. Yeah. She gonna make sure dinner is available and all yeah. that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I could do it myself, but my mama gonna make sure I eat, dog. Yeah. Like that's 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 mind boggling to me. But we had that village because even if mama was at work and it was going to pull up, grandma was going to, grandma was going to be there regardless. Yes. Mm -hmm. That village is non-existent because now we have more people that are about themselves. There's no, vi that village isn't there. Right. Yeah. I 100% agree. All right. Now on to the next topic. Has porn Damaged the relationship between men and women. Nah. No. Nah. It's supposed to be there to enhance the uh, you know, that part of the relationship. 
No. Okay. You, whether you watching it individually or with your lady, it's supposed to be there to enhance your mm -hmm. game so that way you know what you're doing. So that way now it's like, oh, well, she told me she's into this. So maybe I can watch it, see how this gunner, who's a professional, is doing it. So that way I can be able to go, okay, when it's my time to perform, I I'm think showing when people up. who posed this question said, unrealistic expectations. Oh, that's, that's what I was going to okay. say. That's what I was going to say. The okay. expectations. Here's the, here's the thing that I'm talking about. If you're watching porn and you know reality, that's why they say your brain doesn't fully form until the age of 25. Because of the fact is, yes, you start having all these unrealistic things, like dudes stroking for three hours, girls doing all this crazy stuff. Bro, they don't have it on no average. And you should know that as a grown-up. Hey. Like, bro, on average? But some like, people still got their fantasy man expectation, bro. Like, as, as you get older, please. Like, some, people, some people still live in a fantasy world. We got, you got to think true. about that. that. Is some true. people that still is true. live in a fantasy world. Yeah, that is true. Uh, all yeah. I'm saying is, don't get me wrong. If porn consumes your life, yeah, it's an issue. Right. But, like, if I watch porn and I'm like, hey, baby, let's, let's try, try this out. Right. Right. Or, she watched some, and she's like, hey, baby. Like, for example, some people realize that women want to be choked, or they want to be choked I by like porn that. and stuff like that. I'm just saying. They're like, true. hey, let me try hey, it out and see what it is. They can either step you up or okay. like open up doors to things that, you know. Yeah, different. like, you wanted to try it, but you didn't know, so you watched it to see exactly how it worked at first yeah. before you just started now, if you over here watching some crazy hardcore stuff, knowing you ain't never seen nobody do this, you ain't done this yourself. Now all of a sudden, your first time in out the gate, you trying to help. Hey, but that might be their reality though. That mean by, at that what might... age? But you gotta think about what what people been on. This is technology age. This is this is the world that we live in. These is different people now. Like you gotta think about it. We 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 in the gym shooting with some different type of people now. <laughs> <laughs> but also, not, not, but because we looking at porn, the porn industry strictly from the video aspect. Understand that there yeah. are dildos out there that is, that, is, right. that is the size of you, fam. Yeah, man. Yeah. All I'm saying, I'm like, how's she five five with a six six foot in? I don't right. know. Then, all I'm you saying, think about it from this perspective as well. Yeah, now we we talking about just the the, the porn industry itself. There is a only fans world out here. Yeah, yeah but there's a there's a virtual <laughs> I world out here. Your daddies who was laid off during the pandemic survived. You know, this 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 is a whole it different was popping up. This is a whole different lane. lane. You know, know what I'm saying? Man, like that, okay. but things pay, have become into three hundred dollars a week. You know, what I'm saying? to look at pictures a week. Yeah, I, I, things I, that became intimate. So now they, they build this relationship with these people. I'm saying, I don't need that extra break. I, okay. Look, I ain't not even a proponent of pimping. But look, this is where they okay. This is where they talk about that sixty percent of men. That's why sixty percent of men ain't getting none because you're too busy watching porn, doing other stuff, doing the OnlyFans. Because you're not gonna sit here and tell me you want to trick off three hundred dollars to a chick you ain't never met before. <laughs> He brought that 60% up. Because the 60% of dudes, 40% are the ones out here stroking. That's, that's, the, so, we saying that, I, we saying that porn is damaging the relationship, correct? Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, there's only 40% of the men who gonna get the hit anyway, and they hit multiple women, right? Could it be that the 60% that 60 just needs something? Maybe we, they need to up their game like, Okay, how did you know how to learn to talk to women? I just, the, I got this until I got it right. Exactly. Same here. I had women clown me, call me out with the cornball, all that kind of stuff. Talk all this trash. Then when I got older, I was like, okay, I need to develop better. Hey, okay. I ain't about to be out here. I got you. Uh, first of all, when I went through a bad dry spell, I was like, you know what? Obviously, I need to up my game because I ain't trying to go through it like that no more. Right. So... That's what I did. Now, you tricking on three hundred dollars, you might as well pay a prostitute. Hey. Hell, prostitutes they ain't there cheaper now. Hey, my, yeah. my, my guy said people was at home collecting more yeah. than, than, than any time in the history. T.I. said it ain't tricking if you got it. 
Come on, man. See, I just lying. It is still tricky. See, I just guess it's just the fact that it doesn't affect you financially because you got that break to do it. So my thing is, okay, hold up. Okay, look at this logic. Logic. Okay. As a guy, would you rather pay three hundred dollars to look at a girl bust it open? Or would you rather pay three hundred dollars and her actually bust it open for you? But see, you you speaking. I'm from, just saying, if we're you, going that way. You speaking from a guy that got the mouthpiece. These guys ain't talking to nobody. You know why? They ain't never talk to nobody. You know why? Because I, they don't want to get out here. Hey, look. Like look, it's already been proven. Right. Dudes be scared to talk to women, especially nowadays. Yeah, I've seen a lot of young boys out here. I'm like, give me a break, man. You can't. Say hi. Hey, look, look, hey, Speak. Bro, I ain't, I ain't gonna even hold you, big dog. These people nowadays, they just don't want. They human interaction is not what they want. But that's the I, thing. I, I feel like they want human interaction. They just don't know what comes with it. They, cause I always I told, know. like, I always told myself this: there's only two answers that anybody can give you: yes or no. Right. Fact. Especially when you're talking to women. Yeah. Everybody wants the yes. That's why you get on. That's why women complain about, oh, my DMs is full and all these buses in my DM. But you know that every person in your DM is a yes for you, though. You ain't getting none of them no's. Like, because if you shoot up somebody DM, then that puts you at risk. Yeah. So you don't want to. It's a lot of, you know, comfort. That, that, that comfort is killing us, man. They don't be wanting no. Re- it, like, rejection is, is one comfort of them things is that people us. don't don't take well to. And see, your confidence is one of those things that you built. Yeah. You, you, you built your confidence. These cats ain't got me. But that's the thing. Just for, uh, like, I'll be honest. When I was real young, every time I walk up to a girl, I'll be like, ha, 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 be stuttering and stuff. And I'm like, okay. Then the first time I finally got all the way out, she was like, it took you a minute, didn't you? And I laughed about it and I cracked a joke. And she was like, oh, so I'm like, okay, cool. So then I built on that. I was okay. like, keep building. I'm, but if you never build nothing, how do you expect to get a house if you never build it? You ain't gonna never get it. You ain't gonna build a foundation. You ain't gonna work on the foundation. Not you ain't gonna try to do nothing. But I'm so just, don't, 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 happen. But don't just get straight to the house part. How you gonna build a house if you don't learn how to pull concrete and mess up three times? Yeah. Like, because you on a path, every time you progress, you get better. Yeah. yeah. You might not lay these bricks right the first time, fam, but you're in the right. process of learning how to lay you know, bricks. That's why porn is so prevalent now. Because so many people afraid to just be out here, oh, no, nah, I'm not interested. Okay, thank you for your time anyway. I mean, you got so many different things that, that ill people. Like, now me, I just be like, you know, I think I've gotten to the point in life where I just be like, people just going to do what they're going to do. And they're going to be here the way they're going to be. Like, People have so many different things that they don't they don't try to overcome no more. Like you know they got we got so many different diagnoses for what's going on with us. you know what I'm saying. They got people got social anxiety. They got you know all these different things that go on with them. So I just be like, all right, you know what I'm saying. They not gonna go out and walk up to no woman and be like, hey, how you doing? Most of the time it's gonna be, why you talking to me? You know, like that's fine by me. You know, Even so this- like. I'm just, I, okay. Like, I, for fifty, fifty. I think it's, not, it's a lot of women don't know how to take compliments because they don't know what you're coming off as. Are you coming off as giving me a compliment? You trying to shoot your shot? You know which one? Is I feel it? like that's born from the frustration, man. Like, okay, the dude got shut down improperly so many times. Like, like eventually he gonna come at you with some hostility. Like, mm-hmm. if he if he don't build his confidence up, he gonna be hostile. I'm tired of getting told no. So next time, yeah, oh, well, what? Well, start acting like a little beanie. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. He go, because yeah. he just trying to reciprocate. I ain't never had to cuss a woman out because she told me no. I ain't never cussed no woman out because she was like, uh, I'm like, okay, you're lost. I'm going to talk to your friend yeah. because I'm petty. I'm petty. If you tell me no, I'm coming after your friend and I'm going uh, to do her so nice. She gonna tell you how good it was just to mess with you. Oh, wait. Oh, that's why, because he's trying to take your petty out. That's all. That hey, I'm part petty. I'm part petty, but I'm actually. I don't think it's petty. I don't think I'm think just it's petty. I don't think it's petty. Okay. I think that's just a person like, hey, 
Is is it petty for a job to choose another person who put in the application too? Like me and you go to the same job putting the application, right? Is it if they choose me after they told you know is, is the is the job petty? No, no, no. My bad. <laughs> it is what it is. That's the idea of Kennedy now. You said you didn't want the job. Don't get mad when they get paid. Yeah. That's how I view it. So I'll be like, hey, look. Hey, I'm cool. I'm cool. I got the, I got the I'm, benefits now. So yeah, if I'm offering a job with the benefits and everything, and you say no to a good benefits package, then you realize there were perks on top of the benefits too. That's your fault. Yeah, I mean, you know, I feel you. I feel you. I'm just I'm I'm out of here. When it comes back to the porn thing, I'm like, if you're using porn for all your things, maybe you need to get around some older dudes to teach you something. Or some I'm just saying, like, give you a little game. But the idea is porn's supposed to help y'all enhance, try things, do new things. Hey, I wonder if that works. I wonder if she liked that. I wonder if he liked that. Well, I ain't never had my dinner. Uh, uh, All that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, it's like, heavy. yeah, it's like <laughs> everybody, like, you should not be over here trying to do basic level stuff at a certain age. Yeah. Especially if you love this, say you love this person, you want this person, but you still over here on the beginning stage levels. Yeah, I mean, as my boy would say, man, it's because of satisfaction. Because of satisfaction. Yeah. But I also understand that, look, you toys don't get tired, fam. You might be at a disadvantage, fam. It's bad because I heard females on Facebook talking about they um broke their toys or the oh, no. batteries oh, done man, man. or uh, toy don't blow up. I'm like, what you got to be doing that's a different level, for all that? Man. At like, that point, I'd be like, you ain't doing it right. Dude. Like, yeah, you know, that's a you can't blame right. the man at this point. You just not somebody that can be satisfied, baby. Look, look we don't have to go through something different. I'm just going to get up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so I'm just going to walk in on that situation. You know, be like, just, I agree with Jeremy when it comes to the whole porn thing. And then when it comes to you, and you say, you know, jobs and being petty and all that, my whole thing is like, weigh your options, see what's best for you. Exactly. That's yeah. it. Whatever fits for you, boom. It may not be the best paying job, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes. If you had, like, is somebody out there happy mouth on the floor? Like, mm-hmm. mouth on the floor be. cleaning the toilet. Because yeah. there's jobs out there. That's yeah. for you, fam. You know? yeah. Now, if I want to go and be the CEO, understand, I might get told no a few more times because getting the janitorial job is pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, being yeah. The, building your own business, that's a little bit harder, but you can do it. You just don't, you gotta, you gotta build up the courage to take them no's. If you want bad feet, build up the courage to have her tell you no. Yeah. But if you ask 10 of them, one of them most likely gonna say, I'm gonna give you a shot. Mm-hmm. Show out. Man, this is a Fortune 500 company. Yeah. Man, if you get on this team, you might as well be ready to get all the perks, the company car, the benefits, even the jet. And the best thing about it, once you reach that status of female in a single world, at least when I was doing it, once you reach that status of female, then you can put that on your application. Mm-hmm. When I show up, they be like, oh, no, that's B. Hunt. He used to talk to such and so. Then women automatically assess themselves. Well, I view her as a 10, myself as a 7. So if I talk to him, then technically... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Technically, I'm a okay, team too. Okay. Okay, let me I go. Get, yeah, yeah. Let me go. Down. So I'm just like, saying. Elevation of status. So once it, yeah, once yeah. you got that on your resume, ain't nobody taking it off. Elevation of status, yeah. Do you? Hey. All right, we get this. You won't believe this. And it is brought to what? Well, first of all, you won't believe this. It's brought to you by something for the people. And that is something, the number four, DA. People, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and put podcasts at the internet so there's something the number four DA people podcast, and it's gonna reduce the amount of search people up in your in your little block right there. And once you get there, because if you went through all that type in there to get your citizenship and be one of the people, go ahead and hit that notification bell, the like icon if you are on any of all podcast providers out there. A five-star rating is, is the only thing. We trying to be five-star generals around here. That's all we want to be, okay? If you want to go to four, 
You ain't got to listen no more. Just stop. And, and just go find somebody. It's cool. I'm not even no sweat off my back. For all those who love us and want to show us that proper love, give us that five-star rating that's going to assist us in reaching out to other people who are like you and like-minded us. And that's going to put us in a different, a different space. All right? You want to help us? Of course, our objective is to help you. So you want to keep us around. Five, five stars. That's all I'm asking for. And, and I like it too. Comments. Right. Outside of that, this is also brought to you by. Go ahead. <laughs> As always, love to shout out my beautiful wife. Love you, baby. Uh, check out her her product lines, wastedesires.com. They have waist beads, thigh chains, ankles, bracelets. They basically have it all that you need, those accessories. Um, check them out at wastedesires.com. Also, check out Traces Like Mine. This is hair care product from a black woman for black women to help black women. Then also check out Yanni Like Mine. Please, ladies, if you don't know what Yanni means, look it up. It doesn't clean itself, so let's just cut that out. Take care of it. It'll take care of you. All right. Uh, Tyler Bay, Luxury Clothes by Luxury Guy. State of Being, which is my cousin Mike. He got a podcast. If you don't like what he's saying this time, listen next time. I guarantee you're going to be saying something you're digging. And uh, D Mac, he's a ball we used to see him. I see him. Anybody y'all want to shout out while we here? Yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and shout out my boy Bryce, man. Slaughter Cook. So, you know, okay. Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, also, um, I'm going to shout out my boy, Yo, with his clothing. I'm going to get the name for y'all next time. Um, also, I am going to put a little shameless plug for myself. New social media handle, the skill introvert. So y'all go follow me on that. And I'm gonna have some more stuff for y'all. And also I want to go ahead and shout y'all out, man. Something for the people, man. Y'all, like you said, man, like, subscribe, share, all that. And also to make it a little easier for you, if you go to our Instagram page, hit the link tree, and they got all our social media. Man. So make it a little easier for you. See, just cutting down that time. Okay. Keep helping. You got anybody you want to show love to? This is my daughter, man. Keep being beautiful. Keep making me a better man, a better father. I love you. Keep going. Keep going strong. You see, you see how that move? That's how men talk. You see? I'm talking. Look. Back <laughs> at us. Lessons. Lessons. Man, that work. There's a list for top reasons single women get involved with married men. Let me tell you. All right. So, one, make choice copying. What that means is a woman likes your husband and they wish to copy you. So, that's why they go, they, they view you as the, the status. Right? I heard that before. Of course. Cool. Make choice copying. Okay. Married men are pre-selected by another woman. So, hey, Facts. I've already Facts. verified him. His husband facts is good. And they want you that way. Cool. I heard that before. Too lazy to invest time, emotional energy, and effort into the man. So they don't want to do all the proofreading. They just want the <laughs> summary of the man, okay? I come through, he drops it off, and I ain't got to keep it. All right? Married men got game. Apparently, if you already, like I said, you've proven yourself by getting a mate, they feel like... I'll take that. Mm -hmm. okay. So, and the example they gave was men at a... Like your work husband. Mm -hmm. So it's like, hey. Damn. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> he keeps spitting at you and he's he's good at it because he's already been successful. His confidence mm -hmm. level is high. Uh, no strings. They like the fact that if I get up, uh, if he get upset with me, I'm he's not, not calling and texting constantly. Yeah. I got to worry about him because he's going home to his wife. He's going home. So I'm only seeing you that work at this one place. Other than that, he's not a problem for me. Yep. I can and still do me and not have to worry about him calling, texting, popping up, or none of that crazy man, because he's preoccupied. Yeah, he's not gay. <laughs> <And> that's <laughs> it. He's preoccupied, so that's it. That's the home. This one was crazy. They do they do not view your wife as worthy. So they feel like they could do the right. job better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That's right. that uh what was that movie with um 
with Beyonce and the, the white girl and Idris oh, album. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. I know Obsessed talking or something about. like that. Oh, yeah. And he was like, I told you to go ahead. She went and followed him to the new house and all type of wild stuff. He was like, lady, move around. Like, <laughs> oh, she was she, like, she's, she's not worthy of you. She's not yeah. I want you to be uh, over here. And I'm certain my, my co-host, Big Country, going to love this one. Some women love drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't so, oh, yeah. love the drama. <laughs> a little bit of razzle dazzle. Just a little bit. Keep it uh, going. Uh, they think it's what they deserve. So they back to, hey, mm -hmm. I, I deserve a man like that. Uh, and then, what is this? This is number eight. She was tricked. So he never told her that, you know. But also remember now, this is low on the list. Now, it wasn't number one. She was tricked. All right. Emotionally unavailable. So she feels like, hey, I'm not, I'm not here for you in that way. I just want what I want. And then finally, financially smarter. So they feel like men who are married have already been trained to spend their money on other people. So they have no issue spending it on. So my, uh, so my question would be is you couldn't find that in a single man like because when I was single if I said I wasn't interested that's it like it or if I said hey all we are is this right here that's what it is so I'm like all those things that a married man can offer you I can offer you the same things except you ain't got to worry about a married man except woman coming over. You can't offer her the verified facts on you that you can do that, okay? Oh, actually, I can. Because any woman I've ever talked to would definitely tell you, hey, um, don't get me wrong. Most reason people get mad at me is because I'm a know-it-all. I'm a know-it-all, and I'm going to rub your face into it, too, if I told you and you decided you're going to go against it, oh, yeah, I'm going to make sure you know. Told you. Yes, uh, look at man. I got verifiable stamp of yes. approval. That I've been this guy. Man, yeah, I'm USDA it. prime choice beef right yeah, here. Yeah, like, yeah, don't, don't sleep on Don't fake on my top, brother. But I'm like, that, <laughs> but that was before I even got married. Yes. Yeah. I could say that, yes, now I am married. I'm like, yes. Truth be told, your wife should be your biggest mouthpiece. Because yeah. if your wife is complaining about you and everything, bro, you got to step something up. Yeah. yeah. Like, your wife should be able to, oh, yeah, my man this, my man that. Now, I do not like them why, oh, women that be don't ever want to tell nothing about their man because they worry about somebody stealing their man. But when you mm, look it depends at... on the company you keep around. Yes, but that's time, what I'm watch saying. What you say. you yeah. got to be careful. But yeah, let's be real. If you keep your hoes around, maybe but you shouldn't but, uh, have kept them around. I mean, but a lot of times, bro, man, if you, you know your friend hoe, <laughs> you know for a fact if your friend hoe. <laughs> like, <laughs> be real here. But even <laughs> fellas know. Yeah, like, man. we all have homeboy. You know exactly who I'm talking about, yeah, too. Like, oh, yeah, my bad. He's a slut. You know who I'm talking about, bro. Exactly. But. The idea you knew what it was before. He, nah, that's what uh, it's French. He knows exactly what it's French. I know, know what you're talking about, and I know what you're saying. But the thing is, you knew for a fact with him. He knew. We all knew. It was like, okay, here's what it is. But my thing is, if you know what it is, why are we going to pretend like that's not what it is? It's my homeboy right here. Like, you know what they about. You know your homegirl. I know certain people, I wouldn't lay in my house. Like, if I'm not there, you ain't getting in. Yeah. Now, being home right now, I wouldn't even have at the house one day. I was like, hey, go on in. Hey, tell my wife, go on in. Set it up. Like, I'll be there in a minute. Because I know him. Yeah. Now, you know your friends, so let's not cap like we don't know yeah. which ones you could. What's you like? I, so, so I'm a, I'm I'm just gonna say this list is uh one is kind of like who put this together like is there it's, it's kind of like look kind of alarming that did you, you know, get this from the internet or did you interview a hundred plus women and ask them what's the question because I would have to find a hundred plus women it, creep it's 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 kind of alarming to me that you know what I'm saying you got a hundred homework about 
Hey, <laughs> look. <laughs> Being real is bad because they say women doing way worse than men. Yeah, now. you know, oh, yeah. like it used to be dudes out there like, hey yeah. man, you know, I don't care about you being married. Women out here really out here trying to slay the world. Like, I mean, but they, I think if they, I don't know, I might, I might be misspeaking, but I feel like they, it's, it's they revenge. They, 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 they like. They, but what revenge? Every woman ain't been screwed over. But they, but they thing is, is like you know, y'all be the son of our turn. But see, I just hate. I, first of all, I have a a real issue with the term y'all. So I be like, look, baby. I, I mean, but you know, they that that's it, it's it's the same way on both sides. <laughs> they lump all of us in one group, and then we lump all right. of them in one group, just, but not us per se. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're you saying. Know what? And I'm also saying, vote <laughs> to that. Hey, look. If your man ain't messed you over, stop making somebody else fight your plight. That ain't your problem. Right. That's why I say you're too comfortable. Sure. Yeah. You, the reason you telling me about what the other man did is to justify why you screwing me over. But I'm like, you're too comfortable then. Because yeah. you shouldn't have a problem. You don't have that problem. This you look to them to find that problem so that you can put that problem on me. This ain't your fight. This ain't your fight. Yeah, this ain't your fight. That goes back to what Jerry wanna bit the drum. We've been, we been living here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've been living here comfortable. We've been you living comfortable. And you you just need something. Some yeah, something else Jeremy said. I ain't gonna blow up my own house now. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna come in and blow my own house, bro. Right. It's just true. Yeah. I'm not gonna People be over here acting like you don't know. It's like Bro, I'm not about to mess my own stuff up. Yeah. So what you doing? It's like, oh, let, let's play with these matches right here by this kerosene. Oh, but I don't know why this kerosene's not going off. <laughs> then when it goes off, like, oh my God, it went off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why this blew up. Oh, what, what do you mean? You just set a whole pile of matches down. <laughs> Prime example. That's like old dude on the plane that was messing with Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah. The old, like, bruh, you know this is Mike. You know he got hands even as an old guy. Mike still got hands. He in his 50s now. Oh, I'm going to keep on messing with you. I'm going to keep on Mike Tyson for a reason. Him alone. Okay. So well, keep messing with 20. Yeah. 20. Just because he's 30 years old. Youngest mean heavyweight champion fight. of the world. Yeah. 20. Man, knocking like gunners out. Smooth. No, that training. Seconds. And he never went nowhere. You know that last one he did two, three years ago, Expedition versus uh, Roy Jones, the uh, man of mm-hmm. the 90s. Both of them nights ain't taking nothing away that they did. But what did Roy say? He is Iron Mike for a reason in his 50s. Yeah, this man, 30 years later, I will still put that right hand on him. I, would, I wouldn't want to see him nowhere. Thank you. He got that's what videos I, of him at the Jacksonville Jaguars camp, and his son was trying them. He hit that step one and son is no, I'm just playing that. Exactly. Go have a seat. Because I will put that that's right the whole here. Thing. Um, like, that's let's it. not play these games. It's like you wanna be in the big boy leagues, you better be able to handle what happens with big boys. Yeah. That's like peewee people are not gonna be out playing high school people mm-hmm. in any sport, whether it's basketball, football, baseball, whatever. Because they're gonna get demolished. Like, I understand. That women nowadays are like, oh, well, we're going to pay back the older guys. Even though you're not paying them back, you're trying to pay back the younger guys for what the older guys did to your mom or your granny or whoever. Now, you're like, oh, well, we're going to pay back the younger guys now. Like, we ain't in that league together. You date me or your father. But see, oh, we got them. daddy issues. That's daddy issues. You see, the thing is, we learned, we learned from them what not to do. Yeah. yeah. Like, so we, like, 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 we watched them and was like... Uh, you fucked up. So I'm not mm-hmm. gonna do that. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. And all they gonna do is have our sons learn from us. I at least gotta have one side bitch. Cause she needs the drama. I gotta give it to her. She needs the drama. Gotta have a side bitch. He was just uh. joking. <laughs> 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 I'm just joking. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I say. That's what I say. He gotta learn from me. He gotta learn because I ain't got one. And he be like, my wife do me wrong. Disclaimer. <laughs> I have nothing to do with this statement. 
he was just joking. <laughs> I'm just, but that's, but that's the logic that they using to mm -hmm. justify yeah. the foolishness sure. that you put in my life. Your mama got screwed over by your daddy. Now you want to screw over me? I don't think that's gonna it's work. It's crazy, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. Yeah, it'd be like that. Or, yeah. or it was that first four experiences with whatever boyfriend they had. So now once they finally got the gym, it's going right. Now I got to blow this shit up. Blow it because up. I'm not accustomed <laughs> to it going right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, Your past dictates a lot of traumatizing things that happen to you. So yeah. like when you talk and even men, you know, we yeah. are taught to get over it. You know, not every woman's the same. You're a man, put your chest up. And then as women, it's like, no, hold them accountable. Make him go through it. Why? I don't know. It's just, to me, and what I personally look at it is, it's certain things that men can do that women cannot do. A woman can look at another woman and say, oh, you look good in that dress. And there's no, you know, whoa, 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 none of that. A man cannot say that to another man without him saying, okay, you know what? I had a feeling, but, you know, now you got to go because you just told me I look good in this outfit. So there's certain <laughs> things that just can't. Like, I mean, the, well, the, the, the best you trip, can get is that man them shoes clean. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's that's about that. bro. Like, hey, bro, that hat. Right. That's about it. That's about that's about it. it. <laughs> they get one room and they're all sharing beds and all of that. And it's okay. And here's the crazy thing. They sleep and they can have the time. Yep. Men, uh, look, we need, everybody need their own bed, yeah, their own space. Right. Us in one house is one thing, but we need our own space. Yeah. Our yeah. own space. Yeah. It's just certain Ain't things no that... Rooms, exactly. like that, you know. Nah. Room, yeah, nah, it ain't, it ain't going nah, nah. Exactly. You can have the same room, but somebody hit the flow or yeah, hit back in the day. Yes, yeah. Everybody, but got as a grown man, man nah, 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 I just ain't gonna go. Yeah, uh, I mean, even, even when I was a teenager, I'd be like, "Hey, man, you like one place?" I'd be like, "Man, I need my own room, dog." <laughs> <laughs> man, I ain't gonna lie, we were, we were broke, so I was like, oh, I'll get the flow. Yeah. Man, you ever heard of a cot in your yeah, granny house? Yeah, Put that cot down there, please. I mean, I just like, I can't argue with that. I'm like, hey, it is what it is. Right. When we was young, like, yeah, listen. matter of fact, if you went to high school in Texas, everybody took time off to go to Texas Relay. So yeah. if your school went to state, you knew, I'm gone, because I got a rep. So what y'all do? We was all broke. We in high school, working part-time jobs at fast food restaurant. Yeah. So you put your money together, and for example, our four years went to school, B. Hunter's the one with the car, he's the money man. Yeah. Because he's the one that we got to give gas money to to get to the relays. Yeah. We all broke, so we in one room, you got gunners on the table, sleep, yeah. to mm -hmm. head to toe on the floor, yeah. hey, pull this couch out. Yeah. You get your side and say, bro, stay on your side of the line. Mm -hmm. And that's, it. that's yeah. it. Now we grown, it's different. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You ain't doing that. Yeah. 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 No, once you, once you hit that, I'm a grown man. Nah, 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 nah we ain't sharing beds. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, but kind of piggyback off what you're saying, you know, they, they're more comfortable with each other. It's, it's very rare that we even go anywhere with each other. Facts. Yeah. That's, women, that's, that's they, rare. They, the, women, they do it all the time. Like, Girls trips. Let's go, ladies. Yeah. Let's go do this, that, and the third. We, yeah. will, we will barely go out to go to eat with each other. Right. After Facts. looking at this list, though, I don't know if that's a plus for them or, or negative on it, because if you sitting up here judging what I got, Based on being in close proximity. Like, but it's based off of what he said, though. You know your friends. Yeah. Right? Like, if you if, if you got that one friend that you know, or a group of friends that you know that you can't trust them around your man, mm -hmm. don't bring them. See, that's, but, that's, see, that's it. No, you it's all bring them. But that's, see, that's the male logic. That, that's why men can't necessarily have frenemies. I don't have friends who I can say the But see, I, I honestly... Women can come... Women can make compound, like can take two things and compound them together. I'm envious of this woman, and 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 I want what she has. You compounded them together now, so now that's my friend who also, and I wish she would try me. So now she on the trip thinking about your man, and now she like, okay, well you think I won't try you? I need a little bit of drama to compound on these two things I already put on this list together. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try you. I'm going to try to get you man. I don't honestly think that your wife would bring any of her friends around you that she didn't trust. And I don't honestly think that your wife would bring <laughs> any of her friends around you that in she my, didn't trust. In my, in my, in, in, I feel like in my wife's situation, if she did bring it, I'm like, you got to trust me, though. 
Because I ain't. I mean, I'm, I'm the list team. My whole one. thing is boundaries. I, I get that. You I, can and, accept and boundaries, boundaries too. and don't cross them. Once you cross them, it's over. I'm no. telling you. All three of y'all gentlemen is married, so I'm not. If you don't have that boundary line in a relationship, it's going to get crazy. Yeah. You got to have that boundary. Like, I'm not saying I'm not stopping you from having opposite sex friends, but what I am saying is have boundaries. Yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. Now, if you don't have boundaries, it's going to cause a problem. Now, be having all these issues in the house because of your friend who don't live here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I so, ain't even going to lie. I'm going to tell you this one quick little story. At one point in time, living in a town home, me and, uh, me and my wife and my kids there, well, my wife and my kids had left, and I was there by myself. And then all of a sudden, somebody called my phone. I ain't going to say who it was. Right. And they were like, oh, I'm in your neighborhood. I need to use the restroom. I'm like, "You did you call my wife? She was right. like, no, I ain't call her. Well, I got to call her to use the restroom? Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, man. So if I pee on myself, is it? I'm like, you well, I suggest you yeah. stop at a gas station. Yes. You, need to, you need to call her. You, you better call her right. because yeah, she I'm not going to explain this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, I'm Straight good. Up. I'm good. That's like, true. I'm not about to burn down my goddamn house. No, right. I'm not. I'm at this. <laughs> Look, she like, pops I'm up. Not. <laughs> If she, hey, if she pops up while you're in the bathroom, she don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like, what's so all she knows, she walked in with the kids and you coming out and the depending bathroom. Depending on the type of wife that uh-huh. you got, like, what's it going ain't no on? talking. Right. <laughs> she is she. It's yeah. just, why is she here? Because <laughs> I know I didn't get no phone call or text message. Why is she here? Mm-hmm. Right on. And, and then gonna... right after that, I hit the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm covering, choice. I'm covering all my Everybody. bases. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Straight up. I, I, didn't, I didn't authorize none of this. Yeah. Right. <laughs> all right. Close right. it out. Lady from Texas gets pregnant by a dead veteran. Wow. I'm going to let y'all have this. Cause mm-hmm. I just don't understand how mentally you weren't about sleeping with a dead. If he's here to be prepared to get put to rest, why are you worrying about the sexual part? What? Why are you worrying about being aroused or checking him out in that atmosphere when you're supposed to be preparing him to go to his family for his final resting place? Yeah. But you and know, you worrying about getting pregnant and touching him and all that? She, you shouldn't be working remember, in that field. Remember, she was doing it for the benefits. Facts. So I don't necessarily, I don't know if it was necessarily about the sexual aspect but you that yeah. desperate to want benefits from a man who's deceased, mm-hmm. who's okay. supposed to be getting prepared to go to his final resting place? Maybe she was making too much money doing what she was doing, and she had she had already kicked the men out of her life because of Sam, and now I need I need more from that imaginary man that don't exist. And then she said, "Well, he does exist. He's just dead." Mm. Going back to the list. Lim- minimal emotional. I don't have to give anything to that. Well, I, I got a friend of mine. Financially smart. <laughs> smart. So you ready to collect the dead man's benefits by trying to get that last little piece up off him in order to say, well, technically this is child, so yeah. Yeah. I I do get all the benefits because this is his child. Hey, bro, that's some grimy. Hey, that's that's some like you said, there's some sick, 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 people. Yes, some, hey, sick world, sick, sick people. I, nah, I watched the episode of American Horror Story where they talked about Nikki Fifty. Uh, like, mm. This this is something that people really be out here doing. Mm. Like, so I don't know if she actually did the act or did she just extract? You know, I know she just extract. But I don't so, know. but well, maybe maybe you know. Maybe, I mean, yeah. she could. They, it, it, that's why I didn't dismiss the the actual act and the pleasure because there's there's people that really be out here right. trying to sleep with corpses. Necrophilia is a real thing. Yeah, yeah. my whole thing is <laughs> what like for the people who's into that. What gets you going mentally to go? Sometimes I want that dead man in me now. Sometimes there's there's a, like a traumatic experience or like a near death experience that puts them into that. So and, like. Like I'm saying, I watched the episode about it. Right. So it just was like that particular person had a near-death experience, and so they wanted to feel that sensation. So that's what puts them in that. So that. my question is this. <laughs> Look, now listen to me. If, if you on a date with a chick watching a zombie movie and she gets aroused, is that a red flag? Yes. Mm-hmm. 
off the rip. Probably. We're watching a zombie movie and she's getting riled up. I'm not even wanting to finish the movie. Off the rip, yo, shorty, let's let's bounce. I got to go to work in the morning. Like they already calling me, texting me. I'm making up some wild excuse. This is me getting up out of here now. Or if you just want to stay, that's cool. Find your way to the house. Cause I'm about to get up out of here. Cause that's a red flag off the rip. We sitting here watching a movie, and you like, oh my god. So I'm gonna wait, chill, make sure I didn't hear things. Cause you know sometimes you be tripping. No. But once it's now confirmed, oh yeah, yo, the thriller now. <laughs> This guy. This is real. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I'm so done with him. So, I'm done with this guy. That's a real question, though. You sitting up there and do 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 That's different. How is it different? Because that's Michael Jackson. He was up in the movie, though. That's a video. Versus watching our... Some poor flick, like you said, with zombies, and she's really getting roused up versus, you know, the thriller, like he trying to... But I, I just say, look, at the scene, though. <laughs> I was if, she right. say, if she get roused up at the scene when they doing the dancing, I if feel she like get roused up, that might I'm be a laugh red flag. I'm laughing but because I know it's Michael Jackson thriller. Because if it's some zombie yeah, movie out there, nice. and I see her, like, really, like, gripping the chair, biting her lip, like, she really on level 10... I'm away. Yeah, now that's a little disturbing. I'm away. But what is she? Once just it's been, confirmed, what is the thrill of the day? You, I, I feel yeah. like she deserves right. a second date, fam. Where nah. she hit the move like old girl on the three uh, five heartbeats, oh, where uh, oh he starts singing, she starts well, that's and everything. Oh lord. Well, that's I, different. I'm gonna bust out laughing, and then I'm gonna be like, "You crazy!" Right. But if you just sitting there looking like you just ready to go back to the telly, mm. I gotta go. But, as I'm saying, my, my question is though. Like, cause is it a red flag? No, yes. it's a red flag because I want to know what else. Because in my mind, what else weird things are you into other than this? I understand it's a red flag. We 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 said that we said that. You just paid for the movie, the dinner, the popcorn, all that, right? Do you not take her back to the hotel? I mean, it's a red flag, but does that stop you if you've already? I've come this far. I know I'm not dead. Me personally, yes. Because one thing an old school cat told me years ago, and he's retired now. We worked together for three years. He said, "Not all cat is a good cat." Understood. He said, "Let me explain something to you. For the guys that chase cat all the time, Almost once they get so thing. much of it, they start thinking outside the box and doing a lot of interesting things. Mm-hmm. For the ones who get it." And, you know, I, I'm good, and I get it, and I'm good. Those are the cats you need. You know, those are the solid ones. The ones that's constantly laid up in some cat, canceling plans to lay up in some cat. You know, don't discriminate me. Now, I'm messing with black, white, Spanish, foreign, mixed, tall, short. It don't matter as long as she a female. As long as she all female and, you know, that's a young, old, all of that. Those are the ones you got to be careful. And he said, if you don't believe me, watch. So I had a friend. That's all he did all day. He was at the point, like, anytime you call him, it don't matter what time. Well, I'm about to go get up and something. What's up? I'm going to call you when I'm done. Or you, is there an emergency? What's going on? I'll be like, you got it. I'm like, you know what? Hit me up when you're done. Say, man, this one here was wild. Oh, this one was born. This one's that. Like, I'm, at that point. I got to ask you, though. Wait, all right, so <laughs> it's a red flag. It's a no. Yeah, I'm going. I'll take movie, that out the with popcorn. the popcorn and the movie. She's sitting up and now squirting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's go back to the telly. Oh, I'm telling you, I take that. Is you going back? I take that. Do you put on zombie makeup to do this? Like, (laughs) do you rip your clothes and all all those dirt on you? I'm I'm gonna be real. Do you buy them through the jacket? Oh yeah. I think it is a red flag, and I would not do it because I'm. Like, it depends. If I knew that she was getting off on the fact that... But you don't know that. You ain't... Because you ain't that. You just hold on, hold on. Don't get me wrong. Because I I do think some women like horror movies. And I'm like, I, I love horror movies, too. So I'm like, hey, you like horror movies. I like horror movies. We'll watch a horror movie and we go get it on. But now if you on that tip <coughs> of... Oh, I want her. I want you to lay, lie still and lie as the dead person. I'm gonna be like, you know what? 
You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. Did she hit you with the? What? Like no. she asked you? When you, when you moan, just just do a look. Uh, <laughs> I'm going. Go man, hold up. Oh, hold up. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you. Don't know what you want to call me. Like, Where did it, he go? Out. How did we get here? I, I, I don't know. But if you ever watched that Tank interview where Tank is talking about oh, um, old girl that's crazy and stuff, and Ray J told him, don't do it, bro. And he was like, oh, man, it's fine. It's fine. So he ends up knocking her off. Next thing you know, she burns in his grass, F me or die. Uh -huh. And she burned an stencil or whatever. Yeah. And then she has dog can food. She writes on the dog can food, if you don't F me, you will die. Throwing it at his back porch. Then, like, she's going around telling everybody how good it was and all that. All cat ain't good cat. I just uh, said all so, it, Like, sometimes I, you need to listen to your sixth sense, your inner yeah. spidey so sense. I don't care how fly know, she so, like, I, I've been around some baddies that's into weird things, and you're like, whoa. And one, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little pissed. Because you looked at it, I'm like, damn, she cute, she thick, she young, she ain't got no kids, she in school and working, she doing her thing. Went out on three days. First three days was cool. Nothing crazy, so we went down. That fourth one, as soon as she pulled out the voodoo doll, I was like, the deal, though. we had dinner. <laughs> this guy here is deal? wild. What is cool? First three days was breakfast day. That fourth day, one of the right. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we like to Wrap thank everybody for tuning in to Some Boys. Some Wild Boys. I don't know how we got here, but no, yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring this on back. Right. Thank, yeah. Wrap it up. Thanks. Uh, check out Some For The People on all podcasts, on platform, something. The number four DA people. Mm -hmm. Put podcasts behind it on certain things. You'll find us. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We out. No, no. I was not rating also. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Wow, bro. <laughs>